right, here we go. Episode 3 of Ultra Q. I'm really hoping it's better than that last one, because that last one with the monkey was just fucking Goro, or whatever it was. That was a weird, and I just didn't like it that much. It was kind of a... <laughs> kind of lame a little bit so we're just gonna we're gonna hope for the best with this one i think this one this one is the dub so i don't know maybe it'll be worse maybe it'll be better who knows so without further ado let's get on with uh, episode three of ultra q all right fingers crossed we get something good this time are we finally gonna get a sea monster this time it's like some kid launched a little model rocket toy like conditions okay bruh we just saw some weird shit fall out of the sky the gift from space all right is that what the text has been saying at the beginning of these episodes? Like, it's a description? I thought it was just, like, actor names. Or is that just something they added for the dub? I kind of dig it, honestly. I kind of dig the voiceover at the beginning. That kind of reminds me of, like an, uh, like, an episode of, like, The Twilight Zone or The Outer Limits or something. I kind of dig that. That's a fucking weird-looking building. And it looks like they didn't finish it properly. It looks like they got, like, ha like two-thirds of the way, and they're like, eh. I like how they just accept it. Like, th like three random people show up and they go, we discovered it, and the cop's just like, okay, well, I guess I'll tell you all of our secrets, all the government secrets about this thing that fell from space. Whoa, Kentucky Fried Chicken much? That dude's got a crazy mustache. I'm jealous. Dude, that wallpaper though, that's crazy. Look at this beautiful pillow. What the fuck, is that like Ghidorah coming out of the clouds? They knew, they knew before the anime knew. Ew, that's like triggering my like my tryptophobia a little bit. I heard him say abstract bitches. I know that's not what he said, but I heard abstract bitches. Those are probably eggs or some fucking like eyeballs or some shit. Yes, they sent us a lovely present of two gold balls. Clearly, they want peace. Is this supposed to be our villain for this for this episode? Pretty sure those sunglasses don't work with a blowtorch. Just saying, those don't look, uh... Where's the sparks? Am I looking too much into this? Probably. Damn that surfer tune. Boom, 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 boom. Oh no. He found the golden orbs. I love gold. It'd be funny if someone just ate them, because they kind of look like those like little mini chocolate eggs that are just covered in like gold foil. Just like unwrap and eat that shit. <laughs> hey, wait, wait, wait! Damn, I've never seen such intense battles. Stick his head to TV. Just fucking smash it in there. Damn, this is impressive. This is quality shit. Okay, well, who flew? Because you just kicked the shit out of the pilot. You beat the ever-loving fuck out of him, and then you're like, all right, now you can fly. That seems safe. Kick the shit out of some dude, rattle his brain, and then be like, all right, now you're going to fly me. In a single prop plane. I sure hope those eggs turn into something cool. Holy shit, it turned into a, uh, into a fried egg. <laughs> that looks just like a fried egg. I hope you're something cool looking, but something tells me you're not going to be something cool looking. What the fuck is that? <laughs> What the fuck? Oh my god. I mean, hey man, it looks cooler than the monkey. It's weird ass little floppy Zoidberg tentacle looking things. Whoa. That dude's facial expression was impressive. Indeed. Look at him, he looks like a straight up weasel. Like he's got weasel eyes. Does she have a thing for the nerdy guy? I'm gonna throw you out of the plane. <laughs> Look at hilarious. Close your eyes for a second. Fucking pulls open the door, just... Ah, <laughs> oh, so he turned the alien egg into a fucking necklace. Thus, drilling a hole through it in order to put the rope through, right? He wants dat pussy, bro. Oh, God, that's creepy. <laughs> he wants to smash. He wants to slip in them DMs. Well, I mean... I was gonna question why they're going into a cave with some unknown monster with no weapons other than a camera and a flashlight, but at least one of them was smart enough to try to get the cop with the gun. I no longer see the cop with the gun, so... Fuck me, right? I guess I was wrong. MONEY! <laughs> oh. MONEY! Is he all fucked up? Show the body. Show me something R-rated. Oh. Is he gonna punch him in the face? <laughs> I mean, that's I'd do it. Oh no, Zoidberg! 
Shoot it in the eyes, man. I mean, come on. You ever seen a slug? You just poke its eyeballs or a snail and its eyes just go back into its head. Oh, God. Oh, hell yeah. Here we go. Yeah. Those are some powerful eyeballs, man. I love it. I love it. It's so stupid looking. I would love to know what happened to these monsters, you know? Like, I know Subaraya has, like a, like, a warehouse where they keep all the monster suits. But, like, do they still have all the Ultra Q shit, too? Because that would be... I would love to see what this looks like nowadays. Because it probably hasn't been... Hasn't been maintained, more than likely. That's a... That wasn't a bad shot. That was actually pretty good at showing its size. Not gonna lie. Well, we already established that the gun doesn't do shit all, so... That's so derpy looking. <laughs> But I mean, hey man, it's original looking, it's a cool design. Not cool. I wouldn't say cool, it's not a cool design, but it's pretty, it's, it's interesting, that's for sure. Damn! That's how they beat it. They pulled the tremors and just like made it fall off the cliff. I mean, I, these episodes are only like a half hour long, so I get that you can't have like this grand spectacle of a finale. It's pretty fucking good quality for a TV that shitty looking. None of those books have like borders. They have no names on them. What the fuck's the point? Okay, if they're making coffee, then what the fuck is in that one beaker? Because that's gross looking. Looks like splooge. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, shit. You ain't getting in her pants now, Happy. Sorry, bro. No chick's gonna want the dick of a dude who tried to fucking kill her with a giant monster. Oh, no. Is this going to be another slug thing, or is this going to be something else? Oh no, it's another slug thing. Is this how the episode's just going to end? It's just going to end with the fucking monster, just like... Really? Like, these episodes don't continue. So, like... What the fuck, man? Is the next episode going to have... That again? I mean, that was better than the last episode, that's for sure. I kind of, I kind of dig that thing. Kind of a weird design, even though it looks like Zoidberg had a fucked up baby with a slug. But I mean, it's pretty cool. Does uh, wasn't cool. It was, it was a uh, funny looking <laughs> design. I don't understand the point of having the uh, sequel bait ending though, because something tells me episode four is not gonna have the same slug monster in it. So, I don't know. Alright, that was episode four, or three. Episode three. Jesus, it feels like we're already on, like, fucking episode ten or something like that. So, that was episode three. Alright. On episode four, I guess. Play that movie. I want you to smile.